Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting topics. We're gonna start with this one, and I think this one is very, very interesting. It's about Nick Walker. So Nick posted a couple of photos, an arsenal of photos, basically all of his poses, at about six weeks out of Arnold Classic. And in these photos, he looks amazing. He looks great. Like, at this point, he looks great. He's very lean. Honestly, he looks like he gained zero fat from the Mr. Olympia. He looks really lean. And also, he looks very full and round and hard, detailed. For this point in prep, this is a really awesome point. And it looks like Arnold Classic 2023 is going to be the best version of Nick Walker that we ever saw so far, expectedly. Now, aside from his body fat percent, aside from his fullness, his overall size, and also his waist that really, you know, stayed in check. Of course, Nick is not really known for having a small waist, he is trying really hard, and we gotta give him props for that. Like, he really managed to progress, to make his physique better, to grow muscle and not make his waist bigger. But when he relaxes, when he's not hitting the poses, you can see that his waist is not really great. But whatever he's doing, he's managing to keep it in check. Now, another thing that I wanted to point out that you saw in the thumbnail and the title is those varicose veins. Now, you guys must have noticed them because they are quite obvious. And now, in this photo, you can't really see them. And you might be thinking, well, this is just like six weeks out, so he's probably not that lean. They are more visible when he is shredded. And yeah, you can see that on stage 2022 Mr. Olympia. They were, in fact, more obvious, more visible, more prominent. Even in these photos, uh, when he was putting his first coat of tan, you could see them even before he carved up fully, before his veins popped out. And even in the progress photos, a couple of weeks before the Mr. Olympia, they were, obviously, quite visible. So you might be thinking the reason why they are not visible now is because he is not super shredded, but he's leaner than he was when he started his prep, for example, last year this is him in the off season you can see how lean he was based on the separation in his quads or the lack of them and you can see also in the shoulders and the arms that he wasn't really leaner than he is right now but those varicose veins especially on his calves and his uh, quads as well on his legs overall were much much bigger much more visible and this is definitely not a good thing. Now, whenever he was asked about this, he was always like, he, he liked them. He liked the fact that he has those varicose veins. Like, he was like, I love my veins. They make me look more uh, like a mutant. They make me look freakier. But when Arnold Schwarzenegger is making fun of you, then that's definitely not a good thing. And you guys, I'm sure heard already when Arnold was criticizing Nick for those varicose veins. And so now back to the original photo, as you can see he is lean, he's definitely lean, he's not like super watery or anything like that, but the veins are definitely less visible, especially on that right leg of his, and there is some bruising happening, so he probably have done something to his legs to make these varicose veins go away, I don't know what the hell did he do, or if they just disappeared on their own? Is that even possible to happen? I don't know, really. But he definitely does look much, much healthier, much more aesthetic, much better this way. And if this is not somehow a coincidence, maybe like different lighting or, I don't know, his veins uh, not showing as much as usual for, I don't know, not taking uh, enough sodium or being depleted <laughs> or something like that, which I doubt, which I really doubt is the case. I believe this is an actual improvement. If this is an actual improvement, then this is a big improvement, if you ask me. Like, I think those veins, I don't know how much they were affecting the judges, but me personally, they were definitely throwing me off. I didn't like his physique because of that. They are still there, they are still visible, especially on the left leg, but they are definitely much better now than they were before. I hope he did something about this, like, for example, if he wore compression socks or whatever treatment is out there for varicose veins, if he actually tried to improve this, I, I think this is a great thing for him. I think this is a big progress. And I just gotta say, overall, it does look much better. Whatever you guys think about Nick's varicose veins, tell me down below in the comment section. 
Alright, next we got a physique update of Hunter Labrada in his off-season. So his off-season started right now and the caption of this post is very interesting which I'm gonna show you in a moment. But before we get to that, take a look at his physique right now. Uh, basically, this is just the start of his off-season. I think it's a very good start. He's very lean, but I think, I think he should have done the Arnold Classic. Can he beat Nick Walker? Well, he did beat him last year. So if he peaked properly and Nick, let's say Nick failed a little bit, then I don't know. I don't think it's impossible, but I wouldn't bet on Hunter. However, I do think he would be a great addition to the Arnold Classic from all the guys that haven't signed up, from all the top guys, top 15, let's say, I think he would be the best addition. I think he should be the one to do the Arnold Classic. But at this point, at seven weeks out, six weeks out, actually, he's not gonna do it, especially after we read the caption, because his off-season just started. He hasn't really been doing his off-season so far since the Mr. Olympia. He took some time off. So let's read the caption. Let's see what Hunter has to say. So he says, I had my first true session of the off-season yesterday. Since the Olympia, I had been eating whenever I wanted to eat and training when I wanted to train, giving my mind and body a much-needed break. Felt great to be locked in on a meal plan and back to logging all my training. We'll be doing a lot of content surrounding the new split and diet, but for now, here's a down and dirty look. 268 faster this morning, 10 pounds over stage weight at the Olympia. Then he adds his uh, uh, training split. Uh, which I found also very interesting, as you can see, he's training his back twice a week, and also he's training his chest, shoulders, and triceps twice a week. So that's like, that's a lot of upper body training, you know, twice a week, uh, that, that's a lot, I don't know. I know I definitely couldn't be able to handle this much volume, but I'm not Hunter Labrada, and I'm sure he is uh, adjusting this, this volume to match his frequency, I'm sure he lowered his volume so he can uh, hit his body parts more frequent with less volume, I don't know, he's probably gonna go uh, over this in detail. So as you can see, he changed his training, he's doing more, more volume, let's say more frequency, maybe the same volume. I don't know, but the diet, interestingly, stayed kind of the same, and I'm sure you guys already heard about this, I'm sure you know that Hunter, he's not really eating a lot of proper food, like real food, he is really not eating a lot of real food, he's basing his protein intake uh, on uh, protein powders. Now, how good that is, well, it got him to be fourth in the world at some point, so obviously it worked, but as you can see, this year, he didn't really, I mean, he didn't really show progress on that stage, and the other guys that have made real progress, like Derek Lansford, like Nick Walker, like Hunter Labrada, are definitely not doing this. So as you can see, here are the meals. Yeah, the first meal was a protein from, from meat, but the others... As you can see, second meal already is way isolate. Uh, then pre-workout, he has some EEAs, uh, intra, again EEAs, uh, meal three, hydro whey. Then meal four, yeah, is chicken breast. And meal five is salmon, but then again, meal six is way isolate. So out of his six meals, and let's not even count pre-workout and intra-workout, uh, from his uh, six meals, uh, only three are from real food and it's really not a lot of food like 150 grams of salmon that's that's nothing that's a really low amount and 150 grams of chicken breast in his meal four and 150 grams of lean beef like that's not a lot of meat man and I mean, yeah, who am I to give Hunter Labrada nutrition advice? I'm sure he knows what he's doing, but obviously he did not progress on the Mr. Olympia stage. He fell down from 4 to 7. Is he not training hard enough? I don't think that's it. Is he not supplementing enough? I doubt that's the reason. Is it only a picking mistake or did he actually not make enough progress because he's not eating enough real food like the other guys who have actually made progress are doing? I don't know. But if I wanted to max out my physique, I would stop being lazy. I know it's much easier to drink a protein shake. It's definitely much easier to get the powder in instead of chewing meat. But if you want to improve, if you want to really make progress, 
you need to do the hard stuff so i wish hunter changed this and actually started doing the real hard stuff like the other guys are doing like the other top guys are doing and if he did that i'm sure he would make more progress whatever you guys think about that about his diet and about his current look and whether he should do the Arnold classic or not tell me down below in the comment section all right and also at six weeks out we got a sneak peek of ramon dino what he's looking like and i have to say i mean this guy is going to win the arnold classic like he was second last year and he was second at the mr olympia he managed to beat terence ruffin and as far as i know terence is not doing the arnold classic this year so this guy is definitely the heavy favorite to win it and as you can see he does look really impressive right now I don't know if he's coached by Marcelo D'Angelis or also known as Horse MD, but he's definitely with him a lot. And in this update, as you can see, this was posted by Marcelo. So uh, obviously they are working together, at least uh, as far as posing. I don't know about other stuff. But at this point, Ramon is looking really good. And of course, Chris Bumstead is not going to be doing the Arnold Classic. He never does it. He actually said that he would do it only if it was after the Olympia. Uh, you guys know he has that autoimmune system disease so he can't really risk it he can do that prep once a year and he peaks really well for the mr olympia so this arnold classic is ramon's show to lose and i don't think he's gonna lose it i think he's going to win it look at this guy i mean this is definitely my second favorite physique on that mr olympia stage as far as classic physique whatever you guys think though tell me down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and for more bodybuilding content like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye